Well, it's a day after the Nigeria Railway Corporation suspended services on the Kaduna Abuja train route, and commuters are calling for deployment of more security personnel on the Kaduna Abuja highway. This has been the major option available for many people who had resorted to using the train station following increased security concerns on the highway. It's still unclear who is behind Wednesday night's attack on the rail track. But intelligence officials on Wednesday noted that terrorists loyal to ISWAP and Ansaru faction of Boko Haram have been moving into Kaduna State. In the meantime, commuters want the rail track fixed as soon as possible so that operations can resume. Well, communications, the crisis communications expert Chidi Omeji joins me now to discuss this attack and, of course, the spate of insecurity in the country. It's good to have you join us on the news. Uh, travelers at this time, of course, will be in such a dilemma. The roads are unusable. Uh, probably some persons will give reasons of um, the road infrastructure. Some persons will give reasons of uh, insecurity. And now the train station, which seemed like the only option for travelers, especially for those in the middle class, is now being disrupted. First, let me get your reactions to this incident. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, the, the reported attack on the... Um, Kaduna bound train yesterday uh, was really uh, a terrible news for Nigerians because uh, you see it is a uh, security challenges we have. Now you uh, you are right to say that uh, you know those travelers who either they use uh, the new lease of life through the, the, the rail lines have now been uh, you know put into a quandary. Um, it's really goes to show a uh, rather compounding and uh, a, a time has come for the government, and not just the government, but the entire Nigeria this time around, to sit back and say that, look, we have serious issues on our hand. Um, time has come also when we, you know, really stop, you know, um, going around the circle. We have to be frontal on how to attack this issue. To make sure that uh, you know, um, you know, get our life back. The they are presented because uh, it, it goes to show that the capability of these uh, so-called is, is an increase. Uh, if they are, if they have devised, if they have uh, actually, you know, up their game to the point where they can stop the moving train, then because. <laughs> because a lot of uh, action is one of uh, shock. And, you know, just like a real Nigerian, hoping that uh, we might get around this issue. Can you hear me? Oh, dear. The network. Of course, uh, um, um, Chidi, uh, uh, it's sad that um, we seem to be having some kind of network issue. But I would like to ask you this question. Uh, how do we start converting information of insecurity now to sensitizing people? Because, of course, along that route, you have some persons, some villagers along that route. Uh, uh, we do not know, of course, yet who is behind this attack. Uh, but having people along that route also step up to securing uh, uh, um, the area and seeing how we all can be part of the security outfit and secure ourselves from this kind of incident. Um, oh dear. Hello? We seem to be having some network issues. Chidi, I don't know if you yeah. understand me. I was yeah. trying to tell you I that how do we convert how do we convert the information that intelligence, you know, have on security now to sensitizing people on how to uh, protect on how to protect ourselves because people were in this train when this incident happened. Yeah. Um, um, the network is really playing up, but from the bit I, I, I heard you, I think you're talking about Oh, I'm pretty sad there that we can oh, continue this conversation. Chidi Omeje is a crisis communication expert. He was speaking to us on the attack on the Kaduna Abuja train route yesterday.